Welcome and thanks for joining. We are doing some amazing stuff in the workshop and this uh, last week and a half has been full throttle um, working, testing. As you could see earlier, I got the uh, wheel train bridge for the ETA 6498 off the, the Bantam PCB mill. So before we get to the process of getting to where that was, I'd just like to say like last week, I did jump on YouTube. I did three live streams. Thank you for all who joined me. It was a lot of fun. I know that the the first two videos that are now uploaded on YouTube, I don't have the chat screen up. And so it looks a bit weird like I'm talking to myself, but I'm actually talking to people who were chatting to me. Um, one was uh, Stefan Ketlers. Sorry if I butchered your name. I was stumbling through Fusion 360. They were all helping out so much. And um, and it was really great. It was really great to see. Thank you so much, Phil, who did a donation. That was crazy. Definitely putting it all to good use, putting it back into putting it all back into this workshop. And the wheels all have good side shake. Um, just I needed to adjust the depthing of the jewel because the height, I was having some height issues with the mill, but I found out the solution how to fix that. Just by having the tape underneath the brass piece holding it down, it just creates the extra height. And I thought I was adjusting the material height in the software, but that's not the right way to do it. I did uh, make the guide pins in the lathe and also I recessed out the screw holes after modeling the top side of the main plate in fusion 360 i did um i did end up cutting it out of uh two mil acrylic now the thing is that um the actual thickness of the material is 2.25 around 2.25 mil and i only have two mil acrylic so some of the depths are really out under the barrel bridge was only like 0.1 mil and as i pulled it off the double-sided tape I, I really, uh, I was a bit too keen and excited and it just snapped. And uh, moving forward into next week, I think I'm going to try to have these vlogs, um, just have them as weekly wrap ups. I'm going to try to do the live streams every time I'm in the workshop. I've got some cords for the camera, so now I can bring the camera to the bench to live stream from the bench. I've got a new segment called Horological Histories, which I'm trying to do once a week. I'm trying to interview some people it's something that i really have always wanted to do and i started doing when i was over in switzerland um with vianney halte and uh henry coppella and his brother kai coppella but um yeah since i've been back and since i had the break i've had a, i haven't had that opportunity but there is a great watchmaking podcast that dan spitz runs called in the metal i'll put a link in the description below it, it's really good he gets some amazing uh watchmakers and people in the watch industry on his podcast and uh it, it's I watch it. I watch it all the time. I think it's really good. Dan Spitz is doing some amazing work. I'm also doing like a podcast interview thing. Look, I'm just want to have chats with people. So I should be releasing that uh, maybe like once a week as well. And we'll see. I really want to, um, I really want to give everything my all because, you know, life changes and moves so quick and uh, my wife is due for our second baby in um, about eight weeks so it's going to be really exciting I'm not going to sh I'm not sure how much time I'm going to have during that period and I'm going to just let you all know I have a very bad habit of taking the easy route and just um, disappearing especially when times get tough but 
I, I need to face everything and uh, that's what I'm definitely going to do this time around. Next week, I'm going to start focusing on and thinking about um, making jigs in the uh, Bantam Tools PCB mill, since out some jigs for the lathe and how I'm going to um, work out manufacturing the watch um, in its entirety. For the 6498 movement, I think the accuracy is there in this machine and um, I'm going to pursue and I'm going down to pursue that further. I just really wanted to test it out. That's why I made the, the wheel train bridge as quickly as I could. Um, I might I might continue to make the barrel bridge. Hit subscribe, hit that bell, get all the notifications and you can see the community tab and I'll be uploading the pictures and updates. And I think that's it. That's this week done. That's this week done. And uh, yeah, I really look forward to progressing further, seeing what we can do in this little workshop and how far we can really uh, push the boundaries of the machines that I do have available to me. Take care and see you all soon.